it's not very clear yes it's not a frog it's a toad it's a toad correct now here we can see a some what are the water skin dry skin on that it's main difference now we'll try to get the more clear about now it has stopped let us see yes now it's a female female toad this poisonous toad we can see clearly a dry white skin it live on the mostly on the dry land okay so difference between the frog and the toad is that frog is having the skin which is a wet skin here it is a dry skin you can see about the eye eyelid also is present okay now it has stopped now let us see oh, behind the eye we can see a particular parotid glands are there which are the poison secreting glands okay here slowly we will try to go nearest i'm taking the risk now here the distance between the me and this toad is approximately 9 to 10 inches only we can see the clearly what is skin short stout legs are there okay that is for the walking reduce waving on their feet okay i'll try to get the good position from the upper side it's a female correct okay it's a amphibian okay poisonous to most of the animals that try to bite on the and consume them i did we can clearly observe tympanum is there which represent the air its a heart is of three chambered heart we'll try to get them yes we can see the webbed feet also yes no it's gone gone okay now we'll see the diff next day on the same time i found the another toad here we can see the eyes are shining this is because of the tapetum lucidum which is a present behind the retina which gives a reflection like the mirror now here we can see the from the front side how it looks we can see the nails on the fingers also webs are very less okay here the structure we can clearly observe now when we do the flash of the light on the any animal they show the temporary blindness and that's why they don't show any movement so here while taking the shooting it don't show any type of the movement okay now here we can observe that some water the glands are present so this water the poisonous glands are there which are present on the back side of the eye this poison secreting parotid glands we observe that this most of the animals that try to bite or consume them this is highly poisonous to the cat or the dogs many have been killed after the grabbing the toad with their mouth the toxins can cause the skin or the eye irritation in case of human being also who handle the toads so it quite risky to touch this toad also this what are the glands are there which are poisonous which causes the death in the many animal like the cat and the dogs now i try to run it but it still doesn't move now with the help of the wooden stick i will touch now let us see yes it has shows the jump okay now here we will see the structure just now i said regarding the what is skin which is present in case of the frog the smooth skin is there okay so regarding this what are the poisonous gland because of that the cat and the dogs may get die so here the case was there two men before in the city of joy this what are the number of the dogs get died you can see the difference between the frog and the toad frog which shows a smooth and the slimy skin while in case of the toad we observe that the warty and the dry skin is there frog can jump as uh, its uh, hind limbs are there which are the long and easily they can jump while toads are there which do not jump but they hop 
as their end legs are there which are the smaller in size this what are the warts are totally absent on the skin of the frog but in case of the toad it is a present frogs are there which live near the water or in the water while the toads are there which live on the land and they show the what are the they go in the water for the breeding only so that's why they consider as amphibian in case of the frog narrower body and the waist while in case of the toad we observe that the broader and the flatter body tiny teeth are present in case of the frog on the upper and the lower jaws as well as in case of the toad they are absent so no teeth are there just now i said about the frog the webbed what are the feet are there which is used for the swimming purpose as well as the long back feet are there for the jumping while in case of the toad the legs are there which are the hind legs are there which are the smaller and they don't jump they hop okay so this is the difference between the frog and the toad so this is what we have discussed regarding the toad if you like my channel please subscribe and share with your friends and wait for the more upcoming videos similar to this thank you